In today's video, we're going to cover something that's gonna save you tons of time in building scenes inside of OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, and Stream Elements using something called nested sequences. Roll that intro. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about nested sequences and how they can be useful for you. And that's pretty much about all I can talk about on camera. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer so I can show you what nested sequences are because it's a lot easier to see than just hear what they are. So now that we're over at the computer, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about nested scenes, why they're useful and how to do this, because it is really neat. It's going to save you a ton of time whenever you're trying to build scenes very quickly and you want stuff that translates from one scene to another, but you don't want to have to copy and paste it. You just want to be able to drag it straight in and use it. And that's really, really awesome. And that's why this is really cool. If you couple that with studio mode in OBS, it'll actually help you out a lot. I want to go ahead and say that you can check out that video up there. Go ahead, check it out if you guys haven't learned how to use studio mode already. Uh, another thing I want to say is this will work in Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and just the regular version of OBS. So that is my pitch on all of that. So getting started first, uh, if you don't know what scenes are, let's cover those really quickly. So this is a scene right here. It says this is my camera and we can also click this one. This says it's just my monitor. You can see I've got scavengers up right now and you can see it, right? and we can switch to the next scene, and this is the monitor and the webcam, and we're going to be talking and showing, I'm gonna be showing you guys why this is really useful. So I'm gonna show you a bad use case and then show you how to nest the scene. So a bad use case would be if I wanted to add something to the bottom of my camera. Let's say I was sponsored by somebody, or let's just say I wanted to put my logo in here, but I also want it in the exact same spot right here. Well, that's good, but Maybe we don't have to do it three times or two times or however many times. So we're going to go ahead and add an image. I'm going to go ahead and find some how to tech branding, branding, and we're going to find the logo in a PNG format and click. Okay. So now we've added our logo in and we can see that uh, we've got it here. And let's say we want the logo down here in the bottom right hand corner. So we want it kind of big, right? So let's say we want it. Let's see. Oh, I grabbed my background there. Let's put that back and make sure we select that. There we go. Let's scale it down just a little bit and put it in the bottom corner. So that is awesome. It is where we want it. But if we go back to monitor and webcam, it's not there. And yes, you could click this plus image, select our existing image that we've already got and then scale this down. And then you're gonna try to drag it over there. And then yeah, we've got it in both scenes now. But what if you didn't have to do that? Because there's a lot of stuff you might end up doing in OBS and it's going to be frustrating to do that to multiple scenes, especially if you want to have um, like a just chatting scene. You want to have one where your game plays up, but also, you know, your webcam's just as important because maybe you're dead in the game you're playing, or maybe you want it just on your webcam. And yes, there are tons of ways to do so, but what if I told you you could take this camera scene and you could drop it straight in with all the effects and all the images and everything and all the sources that are here and drop it straight into this monitor and webcam scene. Well, let's do that. So first I'm gonna remove the camera. So I'm gonna remove my webcam and then I'm gonna click on plus. The next thing we're gonna do is go to scene and this is the source we're adding. So we're actually adding the whole other source as a scene. And we're going to select our camera source, which is our scene and then click okay. And we can see that this has now been added in and I can drag this down now and I can place this wherever I want it. The reason this is so nice is because if you set up your camera a certain way, no matter what game you're playing, you could easily drag all of those things over together and you don't have to worry about having a ton of grouping and groups of stuff together because you can set it up over here and once it's changed, it'll show up over there. So let's put this up in the top now or maybe let's say we wanna put it on the left side. We can move it over there and then if we go back it's already on the left side for us. So this is extremely useful and can be used for tons of other things other than just images. So let's go ahead and do something else as well. 
So say you wanted to add something other than just an image. Yes, you can do pretty much anything in this. So let's go ahead and add a browser source. So let's say you wanted to add a browser source from somewhere like Streamlabs' website if you didn't want to, for whatever reason, run Streamlabs' version of OBS, or if you got a browser source from a different website. If you guys want to see a dedicated video on browser sources, let me know in the comment section down below. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab my URL for a browser source on my other monitor. I'm gonna paste that in and we're gonna go ahead and click okay. So now there's a browser source here and should show up right here. So let's say we wanted to make this full screen and cover up my webcam every single time somebody followed the stream if I was streaming. And all I've gotta do is now click test follow and there's now a browser source over it. But here's the really cool thing. When we transition, we can see it's still over the top of my webcam because it's nested in the scene that is camera. So I hope this is somewhat useful for you and you can find a way to apply it to your live stream or maybe even your recordings. And you can see how nesting your scenes can make it a lot easier for you whenever it goes to setting them up the way you want to and deploying them out and creating duplicates in multiple scenes that have similar features and elements in them. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button, get subscribed, and turn on notifications while you're down there as well. Also, go ahead and let us know if you found a new use in using nested sequences or if you've never heard of them before and you're like, this is really cool and it's gonna help me save time and stuff like that. Let us know in the comment section down below if this was just useful for you. Also, if you wanna support the channel financially, become a YouTube member today. You'll get access to cool perks like early access to videos, videos, polls, posts, and a bunch of other things, and you get your name on screen like these lovely people on the screen right now. If you guys haven't also checked out our community Discord, we've got over 8,000 people and the community is growing. It's a great place to share your streams, videos, and other content that you make in the appropriate channels. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video.